Welcome back, Redeemers. Anyong, Louis Mnida. Nick. Okay. I'm Curtis. It's been a minute since we reacted to Flip That Coin. Flip a coin. Flip that coin. Flip it, flip it, flip it. Vic time. Special Nostalgic patron request from night. Joanna. Who? Uh, Joanna. Joanna? Mm-hmm. Hi, Joanna. What's going on? How are you? She's telling us how she is. Is that so? Well, I hope. <laughs> Why the fuck are you still? <laughs> Someone else gonna be like, they didn't wave to us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, Redeemers. <laughs> All right, Joe, we're gonna, get it, we're gonna get into your song. I know you got stuff to do. All right, without further ado, here goes Victor. <laughs> nostalgic Night. Hope this is a nostalgic night. <laughs> So we'll hit them captions. We'll hit them captions. Oh, yeah, my fault. Yeah. He was strikingly handsome. Well, thank you. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> they said you gonna get what you get, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> What year is this? I miss when videos had the white bar. Letterbox, you know? It was a wave in between like, uh, like 13 and like 16. Beautiful voice. Who's that? That's like we know. You know I love a falsetto. I'm talking to them. Oh. <laughs> oh. I like that shot. Medium drop. Oh, yeah, I'll download it after. Yeah, niggas. Because you know, they've been killing niggas. <laughs> How dare you pick up your phone while the video's on? Ooh, 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 the sun in there. Yo, next thing you're gonna be mad if you blink. Hey. Well, turn up, rap line. Fucking a pre chorus up. <laughs> Shit. They got visuals. <laughs> no, somebody in the back killing the background vocals. <laughs> Who hitting those ad libs in the back, y'all? I love when they get into that party section. That somebody scared to take us home. Somebody to drop uh, me off. That was a bang. <laughs> I, I like this. One. I wanted somebody to make that a nostalgic night. <laughs> Respectfully. They had to flip a coin. <laughs> 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 no, nah, this is a. Uh, what year was this? Um, this, this came out. 2019. Got such a like 14, 15 feel to it. I was just about to say that EDM uh, drop, which I'm not always a fan of. I thought it was still cool in this song. It didn't take away from like the overall ambiance and vibe that got me. Um, I love songs with this type of ambiance or just ambiance in general, but definitely this type of vibe, those airy kind of like nighttime walk or nighttime drives, you know what I'm saying? Through a neon city lights, that, that type of thing. I love songs like that. I don't know why they just resonate with me. Uh, but they do, and this one kind of hit it on the head. I'm a little 
upset that this was this doesn't have like English uh, captions or English lyrics and everything up there. So I'll probably you got won't. time. We can do or do the, you can jump into lyrics if you want to, and we can talk for you. Well, or, I know do what you, like, you got like uh, Kurt Dunkson likes to break down videos and okay, everything okay, like okay. that. So you know, I'll be considerate. I can look at it on my own time. It's all good. Oh no, I mean, yeah, you shine in your light ain't gonna dim mine. Talk your shit, Kurt. I no, like I just that. mean like you know, say what you gotta say. Yeah, no, I was saying I was gonna mo- like go and look up the the color. Oh code. yeah, I mean okay. I'm, I'm doing the same okay. thing right now. Yeah, because yeah, I get this video clip off right now. Uh, yeah, I'm a sucker for the white um, bars whenever it's for like the letterbox. Uh, yo, <laughs> <laughs> whenever it's letterbox <laughs> in the video. <laughs> you heard him. Shout out to our, not, I know I'm not to, alone on this. Shout out to our white redeemers. Um, oh, you keep it the same. <laughs> <laughs> um. Nah, but I I love like that color palette. It's crazy not to bring up videos. We just was talking about Overload shiny. We just was talking about um shiny back. and view, mm-hmm. and they had the same type of uh like color palette. Yeah, um, I that, think without the white bars. It's that hype Williams ninety nine in two thousand and five. Mm-hmm. Like. That was the shit. I'm a sucker for it. Um, like I like that a lot. Um, bro with the pink hair was so breathy. Um. And Young whoever who, yeah, whoever went after him too that did like the same chorus. Um, I, I, I guess I like how the chorus sounded different, at least to me, three different times because it was like three different people uh, like jumping on it. Um, I thought that was like decent. When Bro inserted the rap element, I thought it added like an extra layer onto everything. Um, I'm a sucker for the uh, like these EDM type uh, like pop songs, but I can get how they can be annoying to some people. Mm-hmm. Um, if it's either too loud or it just doesn't kind of click with you, mm. it can like throw someone off. I think this does hit like that perfect like transition of the EDM never did too much like nah, 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 yeah. it's just like oh my like okay shit we here now the Molly kicked <laughs> How's it going? Did your drink kick in? <laughs> no. <laughs> drink some more. <laughs> um There's some more in that bottle, ain't it? Yeah. No. So the other one ain't cracked. Oh, you ready? Oh, no, I think he's waiting to crack the other joint open. Um, but yeah, this was um this really good joint. I actually think I'm gonna download this. Um, also with this and flip a coin, um, this seems to be a sleeper group, very much so because they're two for two with me right now. Um, Mm -hmm. so I see the lyrics and they kind of match what I was thinking. It's uh the vibe I got. Like I said, I love the ambiance, but it felt like it was a longing song, like it was longing for something or someone. And that's exactly what's going on in the lyrics. They're asking uh, why is like every time I hear a song is telling our story. Let's go back. I'm in my dark room. I'm all alone. I'm thinking of you. Wherever I go, it's only traces of you. So, boom. Okay. It kind of makes sense why the vibe is like that and why they look like they're longing for someone or kind of just in need and everything like that in the video. And I I think that's pretty dope. Um... Like I said, I'm going to sit with this song and kind of listen to it on my own some more, too, and just uh, go from there. Um, but I'm bringing the video back so just in case y'all wanted to break it down a little bit more about the visuals and stuff. Yeah, flip a coin, not even as soon as it come on. It's just a mayday, what I said, nostalgic night, howling, mm-hmm. flip a coin, I'm fine, time of sorrow, stupid o'clock. Stupid o'clock sound crazy. That sounds interesting because what's That's stupid o'clock? So, y'all so, would pick that one. 1 a.m.? <laughs> no, it's funny because time of sorrow is not... <laughs> But um, <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, no, I like this a lot. Um, y- said, for man. people who are like very familiar with Victon or part of their fandom, um, let us know what you guys think about mm-hmm. them or who's your bias. Uh, others recommend other songs. Pray for me. That's some really yeah. creepy as shit. Um, yeah, give us give us some more info about them. Uh, but. Kyung's Dong Sun, y'all go. Um, no, I thought it was cool. Like you said, the video or the song lyrics were about longing, and when you kind of look at the video, it kind of matches that. Um, it seems like when they were doing the color edit, they took the contrast out, so a lot of the colors are not super separated. Mm-hmm. Even in the night scene, it's like not really super separated, um, and it kind of gives it that smoky appearance because um, you can turn the contrast up. The colors will be bright. But the blacks won't be super black and like, you know what I mean? It won't be like super uh, HD, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but it still give it a good clean look. Like everything still kind of fits and it does kind of give like this dream effect. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just like this uh, imagining and wanting to go back or, you know what I mean? Like, like you said, kind of longing to go back to a day or a time that stood out in your mind kind of vibe. 
Um, the video was shot really, really well. Uh, you definitely get the point, kind of just, you know I mean, looking at the video as a, something happened that you want to take back and you can't. So now you just hear, even at the end where he just kind of lays down next to the bodies of uh, who was there, which is kind of like, well, I'm here in this moment. Um, and it's actually reflective of that moment right there. Um, we're in a, they're in the messy room and they kind of lay in face to face. They kind of have the, to go back to that in the last shot was kind of crazy after all hell broke loose and shit went way left. Um, it was just a, a good video. I thought it was very well done. Um, it was very interesting. It doesn't look like there were, like for this for it to be a group that we don't really talk about a lot or are not brought into um, doing a lot of their work. I don't know how many people ask or request them on the page, but. Um, a lot. Oh, really? Yeah, I know, uh, I think uh, like Han Sang Woo is one of the members, mm-hmm. and some people was asking about him separately. Mm. <laughs> so I heard his shit popping, and then I know they like debuted in 2016 and shit. So they've been around for a okay, minute. Okay, so they got a little bit of a catalog. Um, and a they following. got yeah, they got a lot of comeback shit for this year because I think they had some comeback stuff that was not too long ago. So um, somebody finally requested requested uh, like the John, but people been banging on the table for a little bit since Flip a Coin. I just remember Flip a Coin didn't get as much traction honestly as I thought it would. Mm-hmm. Um, I forget, you know, uh, I do look at analytics sometimes, y'all. Um, I forget no, what had happened with Flip a Coin, but it's just I remember banging on the table and I didn't feel like the reception met the the Dude, banging. Right. <laughs> no, but that happens sometimes. Like, yeah, now know, I want to check the numbers. People kind of want, I'm going in there. And then once they kind of get it, it's kind of like it's not supported as much as they, they asked for. Um, but, like, watching some of those shots again. 12,000. Like oh, four okay. months ago. The color palette kind of reminds me of, like, okay. DNA. Um, how, it, like, the video was uh, very colorful, but yet not uh, super dynamic in color range. Um, very smoky, kind of like, you know what I mean? So it kind of gives me that kind of vibe. Um, as far as the way it was shot. But all in all, I think the video was uh, definitely good. Um, you definitely could feel the story being told about just wanting to go back to a time or um, popping that pill to escape the reality, to go back to a time to revisit the feelings that you had in that moment where everything went to shit. Um, the shit. Uh, yeah, I'm using the, the term loosely. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it, it's, you can definitely feel the storytelling in it. It's, it's a good job. I like it. Yo, matter of fact, I apologize. Now rewatch. Now looking at it, the comments is going a little hard and shit. They jumped a little harder. One hundred and thirty-five people said uh, what I said. MV, the rest of the group, what I said. Howling and Mayday. Like I said, I think was the three highest joins that came up. Um, was not expecting this. I love Victor. They said the way y'all all looked at each other at one forty-six. Hanse is a beast. I guess he's the lead rapper. Hansen, he started. I know. I already Hansen. know what part of the song that is. That first rap. They trying to say flip a coin is a B side. It's not even a title track. Shit. Oh my God! Please do stupid o'clock. The rapper Han say is one of the fave in K-pop. Nice to see you guys do Victon. I recommend the stupid o'clock. <laughs> Finally, Victon on the reaction channel. Thank you so much. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, like, well, okay, great. Sounds like somebody missed the comments. St- yeah. Stupid o'clock. Uh, latest comeback. Great reaction. You guys should check out more Victor. The blonde one at Fortune is going off in the back. His name is Sung Sick, a main vocalist. Uh, okay. Hashtag Nick forsaken us. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Greedy mother. <laughs> <laughs> Now he's definitely asking or clamoring. Look, now nah, people on here, they said, I'm mad at YouTube for making me realize you uploaded. Wait, what? <laughs> Be subscribed. <laughs> it's an easy way to find out. <laughs> Notifications on. You'll know okay, every time we, we, must have, we must have asked about Hansei or something, like during the video mm-hmm. or something. Probably asked you, who was that? He was the one think, that first verse first. he started got the he started blitzing the flow. Yeah, that was the first uh, time we ever did a video for them, right? So we were kind of going in fresh. We didn't really know anything. And I don't know. Probably just ask me, oh, you know, what's going on? Yeah, that's a good joint and shit. Look at the first person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kayla. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, Kurt, anything you want to add? Yeah, I, I like this a lot. It was, um, I mean, just the, the general concept in general. Like, I think nostalgia is a great um, place for music and everything. Um, and writing, I would say, in general. Um, 
I just think there's a lot uh, moral gray kind of area to kind of you know um, tell an intriguing story within. But um, within this specifically, um, I definitely want to give credit to the video. Uh, firstly, just in the sense that um, I really like the methods of kind of alienation and, and framing techniques and things that they would do to kind of you know make someone um, literally basically fade into the background throughout the the whole um, aspect of it. You see. Um, you know, the remnants of like, you know, parties and things that had happened, you know, keeping with the nostalgic, almost akin to like, like a hangover sort of feeling. Mm -hmm. But I, the, but they used it more in the sense of like, all this happened around me, but like, I'm here, but I'm like, not seeing any of it. Because you're so stuck in like, what that feeling is uh, for you with uh, this person that you're missing. So I just thought um, there's a lot of great techniques like that. I really like um, the almost like, I want to say like Dolly, like Dutch kind of uh, uh, shots that were, um, incorporated for uh, like the closet or the hallway sequence, I want to say. Um, you see everything on the, the walls is kind of like a gray, like tan, like it's like a like depressing mood and everything like that. So it was just, I really like kind of the production value that they brought to accentuate those feelings. And honestly, uh, taking that a step further, I do think that the acting itself within the video was something that was really great. Is it's, um, you know, they just had looks of like sadness and depression on their face the entire time. And I know that's something that isn't as talked about kind of when we talk about videos, but I really did think that the acting was, was um, really convincing as well to kind of, you know, aid some of the, um, what they were saying in the lyrics. I, um, whoever was particularly going off with the vocals, I want to say in the pre-chorus that, mm -hmm. we that uh, you guys were pointing out as well. Yeah. Um, the, I don't know if it was like the octave or like the tempo of, of um, like that register or whatever that was being hit, but that was like a really intriguing note to me that definitely caught my attention. And how um, well it was used kind of throughout was something that I really liked as well. So their vocals are, are really incredible. Um, the moment with the rap line coming in, um, or the one rapper in particular, I probably should say, um, I did like that part as well. I like kind of the, the tempo that it brought as well to uh, the track. It provided a good kind of balance with what was going on with the vocals uh, that were so strong the whole time. Um, I wasn't necessarily too crazy on the EDM at first, but after kind of listening to it again and kind of digesting a little bit more of the lyrics, it's something that, like, works, if that makes sense. Um, for me, like, it, it just took me more of a listen or two to kind of get used to, I would say. But um, just basically within the lyrics, I mean, it's clearly about, you know, nostalgia, missing someone, that sort of thing. But it's, like, it's also, like, this direction of, like, not knowing the future, seemingly. But it's, like, kind of when you're reflecting on the past, it's, like, that's all you can remember for being happy. So then, essentially, the world kind of seems like it's almost moving on without you. And you're just kind of stuck in that moment. So you feel, like, you know, more behind and everything. Um, so I, I just kind of like the, the general tone that was set throughout those, those lyrics as well. Um, and really, the, the last lyric, lyric excuse me, I was going to point out was... Uh, my tears scatter through the night. Our breakup became a star in the in the night sky, um, and then it goes on to say the darkness right. became even darker, and it was like the why do I miss you so much? So essentially, you're saying because um, you know how the um, like the universe generally is like always spinning. So technically, um, stars and everything, excuse me, that was a good save, are always um, you know right out of our range, kind of like they like disappear from our our uh, vein of existence, kind of mm -hmm. like our field of perception to it. Um, so basically, it was just to say that, like, that's out there in the universe. It's gone. It's faded. It's, you know, and it's something that isn't going to quite circle back. Pretty so much, I, I just thought yeah. that was a really poetic way to kind of describe it's that. And then human. the idea of, like, the space between the stars literally being darkness. So mm -hmm. it was like that darkness is kind of what remains. I just thought that was a really poetic way to kind of um, attribute, you know, what um, a relationship seemingly would be. Um, and then lastly, it was the idea of um, at the end, it was like, if I could restart this again, would I say I love you? Um, kind of basically like if you realize after it's over that it was love, mm -hmm. but then like trying to get to that place where it's like if I started again and if I had said that I love this person, mm -hmm. would that have changed the course of kind of what went wrong? You know, would we have fought harder to work it out? That kind of thing. Um, so I just, it, it was just really, um, I just really liked the, the writing behind it, but it was also the, the way the vocals and the rap line kind of carried um, those themes as well. And then when you add that to the acting, the directing and the video, um, yeah, they're definitely two for two. And I did like uh, Flip That Coin, yeah. whatever. Like, it was a good song, but knowing that that was more of a, I don't want to say a title track, but more, um, like, it was just more of a, um, I want to say radio type of song, like something that was more for the masses, I would say. And this feels something a lot more personal and intimate. So it was just kind of seeing the balance between, you know, vocals, rap, 
um, and then you know, radio yeah, kind of friendly tracks, and then something a little more personal and intimate, perhaps. I'm I'm really liking kind of what we're seeing so far, and definitely want to check out a lot more. Yeah, see my nigga shit under there. <laughs> see her boy, her boy lead everything. Mm-hmm. They say he lead rapper, singer, dancer, vocalist. Um, nah, that's some shit there. I see Y'all howling over there. I see, see some shit. Tell you what, y'all jump in the comments and y'all tell us what y'all want us to react to from them. Whatever got the most likes on there and shit, we can jump right into it. Nick will actually read and listen to them this time. (laughs) Shit, Nick pay attention to too many fucking comments. (laughs) 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 Send the answer in Patreon, uh, YouTube content. You get a response, you get a response. (laughs) Shit, we be talking to some of you. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, man. Hey. Future Nick. <laughs> now, jump in the comments. Tell us how y'all feel about this. Tell us what your favorite Victon tracks are. Uh, tell us if anyone else outside the group, uh, outside of uh, like Han Jung Woo, uh, has solo work. Um, give us some more information on the members. Love you, Redeemers. We'll holla at y'all. Take care. Bye.